Washington, D.C., the seat of the U.S. government and an oasis for brutalism. Many U.S. federal government buildings were built in the 1960s during brutalism's heyday, and brutalism made its mark everywhere in this city. And even underground, metro passengers immerse themselves in brutalism every day. These vast waffle pattern ceilings are a feature of the downtown stations. So we've got here the Brutalist Washington map. Dean Madsen created the Brutalist map of Washington. There's just so much of it here, and I'm not sure everyone appreciates it. The Hirshhorn Art Museum is his jewel in the crown. I love Brutalism because of its uh, textural aspects and the, the sort of raw materiality and the expression of structure. And those are all things that are on high display here at the Hirshhorn with the deep recessed coffers, um, nine feet deep, um, the, the, the mass of the building elevated up off the ground plane, uh, a good 14 feet on these four concrete pillars. Um, so that's 50,000 tons of reinforced concrete just suspended over this beautiful courtyard. But brutalism is divisive, and the term originating from the French beton brut, or raw concrete, is confusing. Brutalism? It's being cruel to somebody. Brutalism, when someone is beating on another person, uh, they cannot defend themselves. Like the brute force or something like that? Or... This building here, uh -huh. this is brutalist. Uh. Ah, architecture. Okay. I like it. It's very modern. It's uh, quite stark, simplistic, does its job. To me, it uh, it invokes um, Soviet art. It's plain. It, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's partly why brutalism is under threat. This church near the White House was torn down in 2014 and replaced by this modern office and retail development. Great news for the congregation who didn't like their brutalist place of worship not so much for lovers of brutalism. Speaking of the White House, Donald Trump has also waded into the brutalism debate. He reportedly supports demolishing the FBI headquarters. It's also unpopular among the public, and even a brutalism lover like Dean understands why. People look at the FBI building and they see the agency that inhabits it, one that is secretive and maybe clandestine. Um, and the building certainly reinforces those uh, notions of what the FBI does. But from India to France and the United Kingdom, brutalism is a piece of worldwide heritage so why is it worth preserving when doing so can be so costly a lot of proponents of brutalism um, refer to the style uh, as a, a heroic in nature that it's something that was celebrating an ethos a spirit an optimism about um, building a, a, a better future um, that is certainly equally hard to reproduce these days and this radical form of architecture continues to inspire Critically acclaimed punk band Idols summed up the post-austerity climate of their native Britain by calling their debut album Brutalism. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.